Victor, even Ariel fainted, man. Which I something I thought would never happen, but it did, right? But we haven't, man, because we still going hard. But have we? Ren- um, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. <laughs> wow, That's man! Right Woo. Uh, handling, not handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. We're not deceiving nobody, man. We're not deceiving nobody. See, that's why you can't get the understanding of uh, uh, Leviticus, uh, uh, was it 23, what verse is that? 14? Yeah. The four, right, right, 14 to 16. Um, see, what you did, you had this young guy, Mike, I believe it was Mike that brought that to you because he called himself being deep in the scriptures. And you and you guys looked at a novice and just followed him, man. Yeah. And that's why you're, and you're throwing it back in our face. We are, we've been breaking it down the way we've been breaking it down, and uh, we're not going to break it down to you because you're not of us, man. You know? That's right. Yeah, yeah. This is bad. Let me finish this. But by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. <laughs> Okay, okay. That's why you guys can't can't get it. That's why you can't understand about the new moon Sabbath. Because it's hidden to you. The most high have not given it to you. Why? Because of the second verse. Y'all a lot, a lot of you guys was in the camp like Mike and Isaiah. They were they were they were handling the work of the most high deceitfully because they was amongst us, like they were down with us and whatnot, and so called teaching and doing whatever they was doing, but really they, they had a problem with the doctrine. They were being deceitful. And this, that also applies to Nate. It, 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 it big time applies to Nate. Because Nate know what he's doing, man. Nate is breaking down them scriptures wrong to them zombies. and he, But he's doing it as a form of mind control. Okay, on purpose, man. He's purposely deceiving the people, man. So he said, that applies to you too, Nate. In whom the God of this world, Satan, have blinded the minds of them which believe not least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who was the image of the Most High, should shine onto them. You guys, see, so pretty much Satan got you guys. Like y'all say, yeah, they're going to say you got demons on you. You do got demons on you. Hey, that new moon thing is part of the glorious gospel. That new moon thing is part of the glorious gospel. And it's glorious to know that, yeah. you know? Real quick. Right, this is uh, the book of Revelations. Chapter uh, 22, verse 11. <clears throat> it says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. <laughs> so, so we ain't going to break Damn. break nothing down to you niggas, man. And it said, he, And he which is filthy, <laughs> let him be filthy still. You know? So that's that's the bottom line, man. The hell with you niggas, man. Okay, you niggas ain't on, you niggas are a bunch of dogs, and we ain't going to, we ain't got to break nothing down to you. So you can keep, trolling the comment board with that stupid question of, of scriptures that you don't even know nothing about. All right, simple simple scriptures. You keep on doing that, man. We ain't going to give you nothing, man. All right? Hey, well, uh, I'm going to give it right to you. Matthew 13 and 9. Yahweh Shai, it was one of my favorite scriptures. Yahweh Shai said, it is given on to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Because uh, he was the, Yahweh Shah was that way. If y'all if y'all saying we going off, the Lord wouldn't do that. The Lord would teach the people. No, yeah, in Matthew thirteen and nine, y- Yahweh Shah was was talking to the masses of the people in parables. Man, he was talking over their head on purpose. Why? Because he didn't want them to get it, man. <laughs> hey, Yahweh Shah didn't want them niggas to get it. Why? Because he ain't give a shit about them, man. And he told the 12, it's on to you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The new moon Sabbath, that's a mystery because everybody don't know about it. But to them it is not given. So Yahweh Shah said, I don't want them to get it. Right? Yahweh Shah said, fuck them. Hey, <laughs> all right, yeah, just uh, like Elamanat Zach said, man, to hell what you dudes on you common board clowns. Keep posting that question. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna answer this? No, the answer is no. You're not gonna get the answer. I personally let me, did that too. Let me back up. We're not gonna answer the question to you. We know the answer to it. You guys are breaking it down wrong. I gave you some hints. All right, I threw some hints at you, 
but um, you're not gonna you're not gonna uh, break it down. And don't go to Nate to get the breakdown, cause Nate doesn't Nate can't break it down either. Okay, cause you gotta you gotta go a little deeper than what Nate goes. All right. We, we, we see it crystal clear, and even Esau, certain Edomites are pushing that stuff that you're pushing because they don't, they don't understand the scriptures, man. All right, I got, um, I got, I got a scripture here. Just to, to, to back that up, this is uh, 2 Ezra uh, 12 and 37. It says, it says uh, Therefore write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them and teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. So it says, it says, yeah, teach it to the wise of the people, man. Okay, not not to you clowns. Okay, come on, yeah, don't don't teach it to you because like Elatar read earlier, uh, I believe it's on Matthew seven and six. Yeah, you're going you're going to take it and, and and trample all over it, man. So it says, keep it. And uh, and then uh, Elatar, you made a point earlier. Said you know everybody else basically uh, fell off. All right, so I'll read um, this. Um, for this is verse 42 for of all the prophets thou only art left us as a cluster of the vintage as a candle in a dark place and as a haven or ship preserved from the tempest so everybody else fell off and this is where you're going to get the truth yep. simple uh, i'm sorry not to cut you off man hey man even nate you ain't gonna get it from nate like elder Taha said and you ain't even gonna get it from aria don't try to go find Ariad because Ariad don't even understand it right now. Right. Okay? You ain't going to get it from him. Now, Ariad is the so-called top teacher in Israel. He, he, Ariad can't give it to you right now because the Most High zapped Ariad, man. You know? Now, we're we praying that Ariad wakes up and comes back into his right mind. I mean, we don't even know what's going on. We don't even... And if he don't even... Matter of fact, we don't even know if Ariad is dead or alive, man. Really? Yep. Yeah. Said, work out your own salvation. So we're not going to bend over backwards. If Ariad don't make it, he don't make it, man. Okay? This is an individual thing, man. That's right. The hour of temptation is going to be an individual thing. You go, each of y'all going to deal with that hour of temptation by yourself. You're going to have to make that decision. So I'm not, I can't worry about the next guy. I'm worrying about myself, man. The only thing I can do is teach the word. You either accept it or, or, or uh, reject it. Um, yeah, this is um, the book of Mark 11, uh, and starting at the 30th verse, it says, The baptism of John, this is a question, you know, I wish I asked those wicked Pharisees. He said, The baptism of, of John, was it from heaven or of men? Answer me. Answer me. That's the Yahweh speaking to the wicked Pharisees. Uh, reading on, it says, And they reason within themselves, or with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you did ye not believe him? But if we shall say of men, they feared the people, for all men counted John that he was in was a prophet indeed. And they answered and said unto Yahushai, We cannot tell. And Yahushai answered and said unto them, Neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. <laughs> so Yahushai had the same attitude, so we got the same attitude Yahushai um had, all right? We're not going to tell you of those things. Because they're not for you. You see that? Because they're not for you. And you know what? Y'all can say, well, yeah, look, look, I already know Blue going to do a video. Yeah, see, they saying that because they're running. Because they can't break it down. They can't answer it. Yeah, well, that's, that's your day. Well, you can take it that way. Yeah. yeah you can take it that way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, we're running. That's uh, yeah. That's the ticket yeah, yeah, that we're running. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna look, <laughs> and we're gonna keep running. No, but I'm gonna tell him like Apollo Creed said. You know, in Rocky, I'm, well, that's your opinion, and you're entitled <laughs> to it. <laughs> and like Carl Weather said in Rocky, was two. That's your opinion, and you're entitled to it. Okay, you can think that way, man. But we're gonna keep teaching because it ain't for you guys, man. And all the but we read the scriptures. Yeah, was shy had an attitude of like, the hell with. Israel, man, because Yahweh I told you that he didn't come for all Israel. Matthew's thirteen and nine, Matthew's the nineteenth chapter. Uh, not all men can receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. Okay, so you ain't supposed to be teaching everybody everything. First of all, um, when we first came, like well, me personally, when I first came in the truth, when I learned the truth, you get excited when you learn the truth, and you try to teach everybody, man. 
You go home, you might try to teach your mother, you try to teach your uncles and you're this, you try to teach your woman, you be you be on the subway and you see some simple minded nigg grimy niggas on the train and you call yourself trying to teach them. Yeah. Then we be like, look, brother, you're an Israelite, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you go on your job, you might try to teach your damn boss, man. You get you get fired, man. You see what I'm saying? But then when you become seasoned in this thing, right, you say, you know what, man, I ain't, man. You don't be trying to teach the truth to nobody, man. Unless the spirit compel you to you run you come across a certain person in the spirit.